Previously on Fly With The Guy. Current training. This is day one of three. Say hi. Hey. It's upside down, ignore that fact. But, okay. oh, this is, they just saw you <laughs> in Rome. <laughs> you are in Rome, Hi, everybody. <laughs> Recurrent 2023 over and done. I passed all the tests, did all the things, checked all the boxes, met all the requirements. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big say. Hey, everyone, guys, welcome back to another week in my life. So, I am starting out very chaotically on a Tuesday. I just finished a tutoring session. That was it done for the week. We are on reserve today for three days, so I need to get to New York. Something in my spirit is telling me to uh, go. I need to do all the things before this flight at three o'clock. So we have exactly uh, one hour and eight minutes to make it all happen. Let's go. Okay, scratch that because today they have a flight at 530. So I don't need to get on the three o'clock flight. Oh, I love that for me because that gives me like three more hours to play with for real. I'm fifthly dressed. I need to pack my food bag. So this is basically the extent of everything. Okay, voice over Brandon because that background was way too loud. So this is a reserve block for me, three days. A lot of people struggle with packing on reserve. I don't know why. You basically pack enough food for the amount of days you're gonna be gone and pray that you don't get sick internationally. But if you do, just deal with it. And so you eat the food as the days progress, whether you're used because you're on the road. And if you're not used, you have food to eat while you're sitting in base waiting to be called. I have three versions of some leftover lasagna soup and broccoli. I have a salad. I have some pineapple that I cut up, taking me a Red Bull, and I have oatmeal for breakfast. I got on my car all confidently in this close parking spot. I'm on the wrong level. This is not where I wanted to park. Now that I'm on the right level. <laughs> so I am taking a chance and parking in the garage. And I'm gonna tell you all why. Because this is a three day reserve block for me. However, our minimum trip is a three day. So if they don't call me tonight to use me for work, that I'm, they can't use me my other two days without asking me to buy my day off to which I can say no <laughs> because I have things to do. So I think I'm only going to New York for one night, which is why I'm gonna take a chance and park in the garage. If not, I'm gonna call my person because go get my car out the lot, please and thank you. I slept the most of the flight here. Like, I got a really good nap in. But y'all, let's talk about this mistake I made. I didn't look at my reserve time today. My reserve time was from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. I didn't even need to come to New York. Oh my goodness. I basically wasted my time coming to New York because my reserve period ended while I was in the flight coming here. <sighs> well, we for sure going back home tomorrow because i have not been used but right now i'm going to go downstairs uh they are sitting on the porch drinking wine and chatting so i'm about to join the camaraderie all right good morning you all so welcome to thursday is it thursday yet no it's not thursday it's wednesday nonetheless i uh got up a little bit i've just been catching up on some youtube i slept so good last night like we chilled outside it was actually it was cool for november night it wasn't cold until like a little bit later so a couple of us from the crash pad were sitting downstairs you know just chatting snacking drinking wine that type of situation and it must have been a good white night because i woke up with a drink beside my bed. Like, why did I bring the drink all the way up here to the third floor? I'm about to go get breakfast and coffee. I eat Dunkin', chill out a little bit. <clears throat> I'm currently in the middle of my reserve block because I'm I paid attention today. So it started at 7.30 this morning. It ends at 7.30 tonight. <laughs> However, uh, Brandon is going to hop on a flight 
at 6.55 and go back to Miami. Told you all that was the plan yesterday. Did I explain that process? Editing Brandon, if I did, cut this out. I really need to catch up on some like business work related to fly with a guy. I have like completely avoided all of that. The, the email, the everything, like the whole month of October. Like Vlogtober was like the focus and nothing else. Some emails for some partnerships, a business opportunity, sponsorship. It's just a bunch of stuff over there. And I look very unprofessional because these are not timely replies because some of the emails were like September 29th. <laughs> October the 4th and here it is like November and I'm just responding like hi I would love the opportunity to partner with you here's my rates <laughs> but nonetheless um yeah that is the plan for the day almost forgot that I'm getting interviewed this afternoon. There's a student who is interested in aviation and is going to be interviewing me to learn more about the field and my profession as a flight attendant and things of that nature because you know Brandon loved the kids. Of course I've also only dressed the top half but that's all that they'll see, they'll see during the interview and then I'm going to blur my background since. <laughs> this is not the most ideal location to do this, but I will be present and I will be on. What is the age requirement to become a flight attendant? You can become a flight attendant at some airlines as early as uh, 18. Some will require you to be 21. Not required to actually go to school or have any type of degree or training prior to being a flight attendant, at least here in the U.S. Um, any airline that you sign up for will put you through their specific training program and those uh, can last between anywhere from four to like eight weeks. What's like the best time to wake up for like flights? When I'm working or if I'm just traveling for fun? When you're working. So we have to be at the airport um, 90 minutes before the flight leaves. So let's say the flight leaves at uh, 10 o'clock. Um, we had to be at the airport at 8.30, and so it usually takes me like 30 minutes to get to the airport, so I'm usually up like an hour before that, so like 7, so in that case I'm up like 3 or 4 hours before the flight. Well, the number of flight attendants uh, here in the U.S. is actually dictated by the, the government. They require one flight attendant for every 50 passenger seats so it's not based on the number of passengers you have it's based on the capacity of the plane so if a plane can hold 100 passengers then the minimum is two but let's say that same plane had 101 seats they now have to have three flight attendants on that particular aircraft so you think about it a plane that can hold 300 that's a minimum of six but oftentimes airlines will put more staff on there than just the minimum um, because you might have like a flight attendant that's in charge, you might have a flight attendant that's responsible for like cooking and setting up everything. So it just varies from airline to airline, but it's based on the number of seats, not the number of passengers. All right, well, you have my email address, so if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email. This interview went great, but your boy is hungry. I am going for one of my meals. I told you. You pack it and you just have food to eat. It is a very quiet day at the crash pad. I think it's like five of us kind of walking around. I think I was the only person on call though. No one else is either coming off of a trip or starting a trip. A very accurate depiction of crash pad life. You come in, sometimes you sit and you drink and you have fun. Other times everybody is off doing their own thing, reading, crocheting, sleeping, watching movies. So day two or three, not used. So I'm already halfway to LaGuardia because we're getting on that flight tonight. Oh, look at that red. Wow. No response. I must be turning into a New Yorker. But yes, we're going home tonight.
just like that we are back in Miami you know I feel very grateful not just because it's November but favor is real let me tell you something just happy to be at a place to be able to identify when things are going well and to sit in that like yesterday when I was going to New York once I got there and I was on the train I came out of the, the subway like one minute too late and the bus was pulling off and there was another bus right behind that bus but he was going out of service and he was like I see you just missed that one he said you headed to where all he named the area where all the like flight attendants stay and I was like yeah he was like come on hop on and he was out of service but he allowed me to hop on and he dropped me off like where I needed to go today everything went so smoothly going to the airport and y'all have not heard me complain about commuting in a very long time because I just get on every single time. The agents are so nice. They're so chill. They're so helpful. And the crews have been super dope and very hospitable. Lots of familiar faces. And they're like, bye, see you next week. And I'm like, actually, yeah, you will see me next week. So I'm just, I'm just loving that. Um, we're good. We're still on call tomorrow, you all, but we're just back at home because they can't use me for anything. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Good morning, you all. It's Thursday. Today, I am trying to run errands because we're going out of town, but this shift just popped up at a store at the mall and so i'm about to go work that shift so it's like a little five hour shift from 10 to 3. while i'm at the mall i'm probably gonna go shopping because we're going to a day party on saturday if i haven't said it we're going to virginia very spur of the moment and after we work this little shift i'm gonna see i don't know if i want to get my hair cut or not. i need to get my hair cut but i kind of want to push it another week we'll see but that's the plan, that's the goal. So you can always tell who are the mall employees because the people who open take like the best parks and like all the shaded areas. The mall before it opens, so dead. But this thing is about to get to jumping in like just a few minutes. So I am currently uh, in an Uber. I'm on my way to the airport. The flight is at 12.30. I'm real late. Like, real late. And I'm flying out of Fort Lauderdale, so it's a little bit of a hump to get there. So hopefully, oh, we don't already hit traffic. back at home I missed the flight that sucks it was the only flight the flight tomorrow won't get there till five I don't even know if I told y'all I was going for a day party we're coming up on um Sigma Game Rose already incorporated their founders day <laughs> I'm on the phone with who I was supposed to be going going to visit and so, um, yeah, it's now time to make other plans for the weekend. But I don't know if you all remember last year when I wasn't working. Well, when I wasn't flying, I was working, working, working. One of those vlogs, I went to the Jamaican Drake Festival. Well, that's this weekend. So I might replace what I missed with that to compensate. I'm a little bit bummed. So we'll see. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got amazing news just now. I cannot wait to share it with you all. Oh, I have been holding this in for a few weeks. And as soon as I have all the details, I am for sure going to share it with you all. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. So we are out and about. It's like in the middle of the day right now. Well, it's three. And I feel really productive because I actually got up and forced myself to pick up a shift. So we worked today, we made us some money, and now we about to go spend it. 
So I was supposed to be in Virginia for a day party, like right now, but that's not happening. So yeah, decided to replace that event for another event that's happening this weekend is the Jamaican Jerk Festival. So let me check and see, I need to grab it. November 12th, and that's today. <laughs> Y'all, today is the 11th. Oh my God, the festival is tomorrow. The festival not today? I have really been like, just dropping the ball left and right this week. What? Why is it on a Sunday? Was it on a Sunday last year? Well, I'm pulling up at her house now, so I might as well wait till she get in and be like, so the thing is tomorrow. And this little outfit I put together was specifically for that. But we can go somewhere else. Oh, I hate what I got on. TBD. All right, so change of plans. Ended up in uh, Wynwood. About to see what we stumbled into since I couldn't do what originally attended. Take all your money. This one of them situations where it won't crook it, but I probably made it crooked or dur the dur. I feel like this is the perfect time to talk to you all and go ahead and close out. I don't know if I'm closing out this day or this vlog. Like the whole point of me filming this weekly vlog was because I had stuff to do this weekend. And the weekend was gonna be lit and I was gonna bring y'all along. And then I feel like the weekend kind of died down. I might as well just wrap this up and put it out on Sunday. Or I can wait and include the clips from the festival tomorrow and put this out on Monday. Ah, uh, so many choices. I wanna thank you all for those of you who made it this far. You could be doing anything else, but you, you chosen to spend your time watching me and my um, very lackluster life. I cannot wait to share my good news with you all. It is work related. And when I tell you all, like this winter, it's going up. Like, <laughs> oh, I just want to get all the details so that when I tell y'all, I can tell y'all in like completion and not tell y'all like 15%. Cause that's pretty much all I know right now. Be sure to like the video if you made it this far. Drop me a comment. I don't even know what happened this week. Did, did we? We didn't work, we tried to work, but that didn't really go anywhere. So yeah, drop me a comment and tell me how your work week went, you know, compared to my work week, which was very, uh, again, lackluster. But we're going to work next week. So maybe I'll film another weekly vlog next week or maybe it'll just be a flight attendant vlog. I don't know. And we just gonna keep these little weekly vlogs happening because we're about to move. Like in 10 days, we're moving. So, ah, uh, weekly vlogs. Ah, moving vlogs. So much is happening. So yeah, that's it. That's all. I'm currently in the drive-thru at Checkers because uh, I ate when we was at the drag show, but that was a long time ago and I drank more than I've eaten. So yeah, eat and I went over home and that's going to be it for today. I am Brandon. I'm a guy who flies and I will see you all the next time. Lord,